All right, so audience members, proceed. <clears throat> All right. All right, guys. So today I'm going to be informing you guys of how to be able to choose the correct type of tire for your car. So things to take into consideration. A car is a two-ton box of steel that can move at 60 miles per hour. And understanding how the tires affect performance and how the type and size can be the difference between you crashing and not crashing. So I've reviewed multiple peer review sources to understand how a tire works and how to choose the right one for your car. So everything a car does is output it to the ground via the tires. The ability for the car to move and stop is controlled by how the tires are able to maintain their function. So, in this speech, I'm going to inform you guys today for how to choose the correct tire for your vehicle. I will tell you how to choose the correct type, size, fitment, and the performance specifications. To begin, we'll start with the size of tire. Now, all automotive vehicles are designed to manufacture specifications of what type and what size of tire. And thus, it is very crucial because it's measured down to the millimeters. Most automotive vehicles today here display the specifications on the door sill of the car or in the owner's manual. Now these tire specifications are typically designated with a set of numbers. The first set of numbers, typically 200, 100 or so on, is the first three numbers. These number, according to Bodzak, is the specification that it refers to within the millimeters on the tire. It is the width of the tire itself. Now, the next measurement is typically the ratio of the sidewall. Let's say, for example, 40 is 40% 40 of the width of the tire. Now, this ratio is commonly referred to as the meat of the tire and the sidewall. Now, the last measurement is, is an 18, 17, 19, 20, so on and so forth, is the rim measurement. These rim measurements refer to the radial size of the rim, essentially the diameter of the rim. So that one's pretty simple. <laughs> so following now to the understanding of the specifications of the tire, now it's time to talk about what type. The most common type of tire are the all season tires. Now the all season tires are made for all season. They're according to the Cyclopedia of Product and Industries, all, all season tires are designed to give adequate performance under a variety of conditions. Ugh. And they can maintain grip through heat, water, and so on and so forth. And for daily driving, it's perfect. And they're cheap tires. So another type of tire, summer performance tires. Now these tires do well in, under heat, high performance during the summertime or warmer climates. Now the rubber in the compound is allowed to put more grip down to the ground compared to in all seasons. But these tires also do better in warm climates only because when it gets into the snow and rain, they don't do so well. Additionally, there are also winter tires that do well in the cold, ice, and snow. They maintain temperatures, their temperatures maintain better grip on low temperatures and optimal grip in icing conditions. These two points make them ideal for the winter season. Finally, we begin to understand the fitment of the tire to the vehicle. Essentially, there are two types of fitment to the vehicle explained in the Encyclopedia of Transportation. These two fitments refer to the stock fitment and aftermarket fitment. The stock fitment is what the manufacturer calls for the wheel to fit inside the wheel well. How the manufacturer sets these specifications is determined by whatever vehicle it is. Another type of fitment is the aftermarket fitment. Aftermarket fitment is a way that people have manipulated the size of the tire in different size wheels to achieve a certain type of performance from the car. For example, high-end sports cars and track-focused vehicles tend to have wider tires, more angle to the wheel, which gives them better performance on the track. But for a daily, for a daily car, going with the manufacturer specification is the best call. Now, the automotive vehicle has become an integral part of the American life, and being able to choose the correct type of tire is crucial. Today, we come to understand that the size being able to choose the correct type and choosing the right fitment are major points in choosing the right tire for your car. Now, just remember, the next time you're going 60 miles per hour down the freeway, just put a little thought into how little contact you have with the ground. So why not maximize your ability to stay planted? <laughs>